final part of this series where I make this uh, probe for my mill. I'm going to put it to use and I'm also going to show you uh, how I set it up in uh, Mac 3 which is my software I use for the mill. So I just wired it to, to the breakout board here and uh, wired it one part to the housing and a uh, simple clamp I can clamp to the, to the device or something else. So now we're going to set up the tool in uh, Mac 3 and uh, first of all I go to the diagnosis page and uh, look for uh, here in portion pins to see, see when, I, when I make the connection here. I have any connection and I have, see it. And um, then I go to the config and ports and pins and input signals and scroll down the list and look for probe and the probe we have here. So we enable probe, we set it to active low. I have port number 13 on my breakup board, so this is what I'm setting here. Uh, apply OK, and then we look for uh, the digitize to light up. So when I uh, take these two cables and put them together, I have light up on the digitize now. So, so now everything is set up. Uh, between the software and the breakup board in the machine. So the next thing we have to do is to make a macro. I already made it up so uh, but I will open it and show it to you. So this is a macro I found on the on the internet. Just google it and you'll find uh, this or similar ones. Uh, what I have done here is to change this one the uh, set offset because my plate is 42 high uh, so this is the only change I made in this in this macro and let's save it and so now uh, when I push this button here uh, this macro will run and if you don't have any connection here of course you can use this um, edit button script and what happens when you push this is that you see these tools are blinking here so you can you can use this to connect the macro to a button here so when you click this it will open and you paste the macro and you change what you want to change and you just save it and then it's okay so so the next thing is to uh, show it on the mill how it works so now we're on the mill and um, I'm going to place the probe here on, uh, on the top of my vise and uh, the clamp I could connect to, to, to the tool but um, in this case everything is, is uh, conductive here and, and so everything is grounded as it's, when I put it here it will, the current will move through and into the tool in this, in this way. So, this will work perfectly here. Um, what now? Uh, the, the height of this is 42 millimeters from, from the bottom to the top. That's uh, what I set up in the, in the macro also. So let's put it to use and see what happens. So we move everything down a little bit. Here. So now I'm pushing the auto two zero button on Mac 3. So what happened here was that the two went down and when it touches the surface here uh, it it set the height for 42 and then it backed off two millimeters so I can take this away. Easily. So this uh, this is perfect. I, I'm very happy with it. Um, this will most certainly save my carbide tools because they are very brittle. Um, of course, this is a high-speed steel one, so this is not as problematic as the other ones. But but anyway, this will make everything a lot easier uh, for me. So this is a modification or. Uh, the tool 
that I can recommend for everyone that has this kind of setup and this kind of machine. Thank <laughs> you.